This is a patient who came in after getting a colonoscopy, which showed some abnormality involved in the cecum and appendix orifice, and so they wanted to get a CAT scan to try to figure out what was going on. So we ended up getting a CT scan with intravenous contrast, and we'll go right to the area of concern that we want to focus on, which is the right lower quadrant, the cecum, the appendix. And you look at it on initial glance, it looks reasonably okay. Uh, there's some stool in there, there's some oral contrast that we've given. You can see the appendix beautifully over here, no inflammatory change associated with it. It's not particularly dilated, but very subtle. If you look at sort of the um, most distal aspect of the appendix, we can see the attenuation, pretty low in attenuation, containing a little bit of fluid. As we go more proximal as it joins the cecum, you can start to see that internally, subtly, there may be right around here an area of hyperdensity associated with it. And you can start to see it perhaps more um, conspicuously over here where it looks quite hyperdense at that location versus a little bit more distally. And so that caught uh, our eye as we were looking through this. We can look at this on the coronal as well. And I think this shows the finding pretty nicely. You can see the appendix in the right lower quadrant over here. We see most of the appendix has a low density uh, appearance to it all the way out to the distal appendix. But as it goes more proximally and meets the cecum, definitely a, a very segmental region of higher attenuation. And so we caught that and uh, assumed that that corresponded to the abnormality that we're seeing on the colonoscopy. Um, one of the things that could be is potentially a neoplasm over there. Patient under an, a uh, hemicolectomy and surgical exploration, and this was all taken out. Uh, and this turned out to be a goblet cell adenocarcinoma of the appendix.